Brandon, what do you have for us? So we're gonna talk about ordering material based off of a proctor. So we need to know kind of what a proctor is here. So this is one cubic foot. So if you took a particular kind of material and you compacted it at 100%, this uh, particular kind of material would weigh 132 pounds. So a proctor is telling us the weight of the material compacted at 100% in one cubic foot. So we know based off of our other video that there are 27 cubic feet in a cubic yard. And if you look here, I wrote down 132. So each of these cubic feet would weigh 132 pounds. So the weight of one cubic uh, yard compacted at 100% is what we're trying to calculate here. So if it weighs 132 pounds times 27 of these, we know that this particular kind of dirt would weigh 3,564 pounds per cubic yard. The nice thing that's helpful with this kind of thing is there's a lot of different materials with all sorts of different weights, so we can figure out how much the different cubic yards weigh. So the next step is we know that one ton is 2,000 pounds, so now we want to convert um, uh, this uh, weight here that we already figured out into tons per cubic yard. So if we take uh, this uh, material at 3,564 pounds, divide it by 2,000, we now know that, one point, that this material is 1.78 tons per cubic yard. Another way of looking at it is this one cubic yard weighs 3,564 pounds, or it is 1.78 tons. This is useful because um, we had in our last uh, training when we calculated trenches or we calculated an area and we needed to order something or order a material, um, we had the cubic yards, but we order in tons. So now if we know how much the material weighs, um, we, can take that, uh, um, we can take that weight and we can figure out how many tons to use. And we'll go over that in a future video, but that's why this is useful.